this shirt, which is a famous shirt that Axel wore um, after the St. Louis riots when he was on trial in St. Louis. I have a signature Gretsch. I have to show that. All right, gang, it is now time to play Rock and Tell. It's just like show and tell, but like way cooler because it's rock and roll stuff with rock stars like Richard Fortas of Guns N' Roses. Richard, what do you got to show me? Okay, first of all, <clears throat> I have a signature Gretsch. That's, I have to show that because it's like the most important thing to me right now. <laughs> uh, so that, show it off one. a little bit. Let it let us let, let us see the body. What features do you adore on this thing? Okay. So the thing that really makes this special is the pickups. So we spent a long time developing them. And it's what I think makes the guitar really unique to, to anything else that's uh, available. So that's the the single biggest thing to me. Um, but aesthetically. Having a double cut Gretsch with a center block, it's uh, it's just very cool. It's very uh, practical and uh, I can play it all night long and I'm excited about it. Hey Richard, is it true that this, uh, this guitar has a maple body? <laughs> <laughs> Why, yes, it is. That sounds amazing. Mm. How did you know that? <laughs> it's as if I've read about your press releases. Now, this oh, guitar okay. is really rad and it, it comes in two colors, right? It does. It comes in white, an antique white, and an antique black. Both have the uh, tortoise binding, which you probably can't see in this lighting. But. Now, now, hold on one second, though. The, mm -hmm. These guitars just came out um, around like uh, fall 2021. You weren't playing this on the 2021 Guns N' Roses tour, though, right? Yeah, I played oh. both of them all night, yeah. Oh, okay. So you played them before they were released to the public. I did, did because I had prototypes. Did any fans geek out and, like, zero in on this and notice uh, it? Or is it kind of like a little yeah, secret? Yeah, there's been a lot of talk about them. Yeah, yeah. No, I had a lot of people asking questions about them. Cool. All right, what else do you have to show us? Okay, I'll show you this. So I live in St. Louis, Missouri, and I grew up here, but most of my life I lived in New York City um, and then moved to L.A. And then I moved back to St. Louis about nine years ago. So when I moved back, um, our crew was sending a bunch of, of my gear to my place in St. Louis. And when I opened up the boxes, I found... I found this shirt, <laughs> which is which is a famous shirt that Axel wore um, after the St. Louis riots when yeah. he was on trial in St. Louis, and he would wear this shirt on stage. And so they put it into the box and sent it to me. But it's a very famous shirt. Awesome. That's cool. Does it fit? Yeah. Have you ever worn it? I've never worn it. No, it smells like Axel. <laughs> no, it's, I'm sure it's been washed. It's, it's <laughs> but I do yeah, sleep it, with it. I sleep I with I it. Do. Yeah. All right. All right. We are playing rock and tell with uh, Richard Fortas of Guns N' Roses. What else you got? Okay. So my, my career, I, I, I always shunned the, uh, probably because of my punk rock upbringing, I never wanted, um, you know, the picks, the guitar picks, where you personalize, you know, they're personalized and they print them up and they have the band logo on one side, your signature on the other. I never really was into that. I always thought it was sort of uh, cheesy. Okay, and all right. Until I joined a band that had a logo that would warrant a guitar pick and when i joined thin lizzy in 2011 i had these printed up and it has it's the thin lizzy logo which is just the coolest logo ever but sorry <laughs> oh i love it yeah so this is this is really special to me and there aren't a ton of them but uh 
The ones that have been printed up, are they all in uh, black or were they multicolor bag? No, they were all black, black with the gold. So yeah. rock and roll, Richard. I know, but I mean, that that logo is rock and roll. I mean, it just doesn't get any more rock and roll than that. So you're telling me you don't have Guns N' Roses ones? I do now, yeah. <laughs> but this is what, this is, well, this is what did it. Because I was in Guns N' Roses for 10 years before I played with Thin Lizzy, so... Yeah, I never did it until uh, till after that. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thank you for playing uh, Rock and Tell with us today. Thanks for I really having appreciate me. appreciate it. And um, your new signature guitar looks rad, man. So congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm really proud of it. Hey there. Thanks for watching Access TV. Subscribe, follow, like, and do all the good stuff. And make sure you leave a comment below. I don't know, just let us know what your favorite Access TV show is or who your favorite bands are and what artists you're into, or just say hi, man. I'd like to be told hi. We love hearing from you. That's the point, all right? Keep it coming.